I'm Laura Brody and I've been pimping at wheelchairs and walkers. We've all seen wheelchairs and walkers and crutches and they're all kind of horrible. They're almost insultingly ugly. And I looked at these things and said, you know what? I think I can make a better one. I think we could do something better. These are the art and the inventions of opulent mobility. Mobility, access, and dealing with disability. So this is an artistic way of looking at it. This is a new idea, but it shouldn't be that unusual. Dressing up a vehicle? Everyone pimps their rides. This is not weird or hard. But the idea of doing it to a wheelchair, or a walker, or a crutch, it got a little bit different. I got involved, because obviously I don't use a wheelchair, right? And I got involved, I had friends who did, I had friends who had missing limbs, but an old boyfriend had a stroke. And I started finding out about all of these different assistive technologies and was just fascinated. They are so cool. It's great that you have all these devices that can help you out. Do they have to look that awful? Kind of at the core, it seems like people simply don't want to deal with the fact that that might happen to them. So if you ignore it, maybe it will go away. We value our independence. One of the things that accessibility gives you is a whole bunch of people who are able to feel independent. Why not make it be stylish? I figure there's as many people's styles out there as there are people in the world. So the person who likes Norwegian death metal is not going to like Hello Kitty is not necessarily gonna like this. So why should you have the same wheelchair? Why can't it be personal? Why can't it be customized? People will spend money on whimsy. People will spend money on things that are fun. People will pay attention to things that make them smile. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually a really good way to get things started. This is not for everyone. That's kind of the point. It shouldn't be for everyone. But I really did also want people to start talking about it. Be a little outrageous, you're a lot more likely to get somebody to notice. And at least start asking the question, why aren't they personal? And there's something about a wheelchair or a walker or a prosthetic that is a reminder to other people of mortality <laughs> in a really weird way, that it is almost more about other people's comfort that these aren't being done. But that's pretty crappy for the people using it. It's not that hard to see that this can be you or anybody you know. And instead of having it be something we fear and look away from, it might be pretty cool if we turn it into something desirable. Maybe, maybe even worthy of envy. Art is a really good way to get a conversation started. 80 million people are scheduled to be hitting retirement age in the next 20 years. So we are actually going to have a culture full of people who need help. Wouldn't it be fabulous if we start making the future more accessible for all of us? At the end of that, I would ask everybody to, uh, to look at this and start taking it personally. Because it is personal. It's about your family. It's about people you know. And it might just be about you. And when you take things personally, you take some action instead of thinking it's just about something else.